This lesson is about replacement sets. We're going to talk a little bit about what a set is and how we can use it. And we'll be going back to sets a little bit later on. But right now we're just talking about replacement sets. A set is basically a series of numbers that you'll use to substitute into an equation or an expression. Especially when we talk about replacement sets, we're going to be actually replacing um, or substituting the values from a set, like this, into an equation or expression. A set is usually listed like this. So this set here, we would say this set consists of the numbers negative 1, 2, and positive 4. Let's get some practice so you can see a little bit more what I'm talking about. Here's a set. The solve each equation if n is the set of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So in other words, the value of n, we are going to substitute or replace with each of these numbers as we go along here. And we're going to find the correct solution by doing that. Let's go ahead and take a look. What happens when we substitute the first value of our set, or the value of 0, into this equation? We have 0 plus 5 equals 9, 5 equals 9. No, that's not the case. So we know that the solution is not the first number in the set. And we would continue on 1 plus 5 equals 9. 6 equals 9. Nope, that's not true either. 2 plus 5. And you can probably, inside of your head, solve this one because it's pretty simple. But as we go along, they won't be quite so easy. And so it'll be good to have the set so that we can add them together and find our correct answer here. All right, and in this case, we get to our final number, 4. We substitute in that value from the set. And 9 is actually equal to 9 at that point. So that would be our correct response. So in this case, we would have the value of 4 as the solution. But we, you notice that we replaced every single number from the set, or we substituted each number from the set into this equation. Let's do another one. Um, we solved that one. Let's go ahead to this one. 8 divided by n is equal to 4. We're going to go ahead and take the numbers from the set. 8 divided by 0 equals 4. 8 divided by 0, you can't do that. It's actually undefined, so we know that that one's not right. Um, let's try 8 divided by 1 equals 4. 8 divided by 1 is 8. 8 is certainly not equal to 4. And then our next one we do 8 divided by 2 equals 4, and that's correct. We could continue on and substitute 3 in there. 8 divided by 3 is 8 thirds, and that's not equal to 4. And then 4 in there, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So that's also not correct. But once we find, sometimes when we find the correct solution, we can stop. But um, in some cases, you'll want to continue on, because there may be multiple correct solutions. But in this case, um, there is one solution, and the solution is 2, or the third number in the set there. All right. Here's one like what I was talking about earlier. Sometimes it's not you're not actually looking for a solution. You're just looking to solve what is n plus 2. So the solution for n plus 2, when we substitute in this entire set, is going to be, well, let's see. First we do 0 plus 2. Then we do 1 plus 2. And 2 plus 2. And 3 plus 2. And 4 plus 2. So you, all we've done here, we've substituted n plus 2, and then we use this set and substituted in each value of the set into the equation. So we had n equals 0, 0 plus 2, n equals 1, 1 plus 2, n equals 2, 3, and 4, and so on. So that's what we've done to find the solution for this set. So what we would do when we're saying the solution, we would use these squiggly lines, and then list all of our numbers, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that would actually be our solution set, we would call that. That would be our solution set. Okay, This was our replacement set. 
we plugged it into this expression, and then this is the solution that we would get out. All right? Let's do one more question. This one here is a little bit more complicated. It makes us use the order of operations. We're going to try and find the solution using the set 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is our equation. So we will take the values of n, this set, and plug them into this equation and see what we get. So 3 times 1 plus 4. And then we do the same thing. Everywhere we see the value of n, we'll put in 1. Okay. So 3 times 1 is 3. And on the, the right side over here, we do what's inside the parentheses first. 3 plus 4 is 7. 2 times 0 is 0. Ooh, they're very close, but not correct. All right. So we tried the sol we tried putting in the first number from our set. It didn't work. I'm going to just delete all that so that we have space to do our next one. Now we'll move on to the next number inside of our set, which is a 2. So you will continue to do this. The good thing about a set is that in this case we only have four possible solutions. Right? So we know we're going to hit it eventually, hopefully. It's not like we're shooting in the dark and we have no solution whatsoever. This one here gives us options. So we're not going to just continue on over and over until we get Nothing, but anyway. So here I did multiplication first. 3 times 2 is 6. On the right-hand side here, I did what was inside the parentheses first. 2 minus 1 is 1. In the next step, I'll add 6 plus 4 is 10. And I'll multiply 2 times 1 is 2 plus 8. And 10 is equal to 10. So that's actually going to be our solution there. Now we can, at this point, substitute in the other values of our set, but they won't work out. 3 and 4 are not going to be correct for this. The only solution that will work is 2. So that's essentially how replacement sets work. You get a set of numbers, you replace them in the equation or in the expression, and you get your, your final solution. I hope this lesson has been helpful for you, and have a wonderful day.